The Ventuk City Police has established CCTV cameras at numerous crime hotspots around Ventuk to monitor criminal activity. The city police feels the cameras has given them the ability to catch culprits before they can make an escape. We have officers that are on a shift rotation in the CCTV room. The moment they pick up an incident, at the same time we also have our officers that are on the ground. They will be informed timely, especially in the area where the incident happened, and those officers, they will go to the incident. And that's the reason in most cases we arrest individual while the incident is happening, while it's in progress, because of the officers that are on the ground. One of the most car-breaking tactics criminals are currently using is the jamming of vehicles, where criminals would use a remote device to jam a vehicle's alarm. The suspects, basically, when you are trying to use your remote to lock your vehicle, um, they just jam the system using a, a gate remote. So um, your car does not catch the signal and as such does not lock and um, afterwards they just come open and remove. And then obviously there are um, parts where you know, they use uh, spark plugs just to smash the, the, the windows or to break the windows without it uh, making any type of noise. Do car guards play a role in some of these car break-ins? According to Amukwelele, that would be determined by the location at which your vehicle is stationed. If you look at uh, Shanghai, along Shanghai and Mongunda Street, we have picked up uh, car guards that are indeed part of uh, break-ins. And we have also noticed uh, a, a pattern or a tendency where that uh, if they ask to look after your car and then you agree, they expect you to pay them. However, that's not a, a birth right and it's not something that we are advocating for them to intimidate car drivers to pay them at all. And when they feel that uh, one does not want to give them a token in the form of uh, a dollar or two, they give information or they will see one that is breaking in the vehicle, but they will do nothing. We have engaged them and we have identified those individuals and at times we speak to owners of the surrounding premises to make sure that uh, whenever such individuals are seen, they are chased away because the moment you are not doing anything and you are a car guard, it simply means you are, you are working together with the criminals or car breakers or it simply means that uh, you are not doing your job. So from our point, we are really, we have picked up a few and we have dealt with them and we have also went to the extent of uh, profiling them. According to COISEP, a reduction in car breakings has been noticed due to several techniques used by the Vintage City Police officers. We have really seen a reduction. This is both um, due to um, our aggressive policing techniques as well as the use of CCTV technology that has really helped us to reduce this um, theft out of motor vehicles. So the progress is really good. We are um, getting there. Last year we had a real issue at um, Zoo Park where vehicles were getting broken, broken into a lot. And um, through um, some of our operations, um, we were able to bring it down to zero. Um, this year we have not had any um, um, break-ins at, at, at Zoo Park. And, um, you know, we are moving on, especially with the CCTV cameras. We are able to identify suspicious people. We are able to, to, to also um, arrest suspects that do uh, commit some of these crimes. So um, we are making headway when it comes to theft out of motor vehicles. The Vintuk City Police is urging motorists to make sure their vehicles are locked by physically checking if all doors are locked and to avoid leaving valuable items on their car seats.